Hey there, kiddo. Do you know how to use doors? Well, do you want to know? Great, I'll show you. Don't be a coward and hesitate to close the door, because it will certainly end in doom. This is what happens when you hesitate to close the door, so don't hesitate. Close that door. Don't be a coward. Close that door. Don't be a sissy. Be a man. Show that door who's boss. That's how you do it. Good job. I learned how to open up doors. Now that's how you close a door. Hey, are you interested in watching an actually good zombie movie? One that actually has a story and isn't just based on all the zombie killing? Well then I got just the movie for you. It's a little South Korean movie called Train to Busan. Let me tell you a bit about it. I'm going to try to avoid all the spoilers like... Well, I'm avoiding all spoilers so you guys can actually watch the movie for yourself. So, let's jump right into it. Now, if you guys are wondering how I decide how good a movie is or how I review it, it's with my five C's to any good movie. Concept, characters, cinematography, commitment, and critical response. So, let's talk about those. Concept. Man, it seems like every day a new zombie movie is released and, you know, all of them suck. But, you know, with Train to Busan, it's different. Because with all of these zombie movies that are almost always released every day of the freaking week, every month, every year, I'm just, I'm just trying to get my point across that a lot of zombie movies are made and they, a lot of them are bad. But with Train to Busan it's different because with all of these zombie movies, they don't really have a story because it's really, the story is really just based on you know, like a group of survivors going around and killing a bunch of zombies. But that's not the case with Train to Busan. The concept in Train to Busan is different. It's unique. Now, if you've watched Snowpiercer, then you like it because, you know, it's about a freaking a train that goes around the world nonstop because everything is dead. And with World War Z, the zombies are really scary and they climb all over each other. Put those two together, you get Train to Busan. The story follows a bullet train that's going from Seoul to Busan. Now just as the train leaves, a zombie jumps on, starts attacking people, a bunch of, get, a bunch of people get infected, boom, you got a zombie movie. But that's not the thing. Now with a regular zombie movie, you can see like a, a group of really like cool, freaking tough, pe like fighters, like, like, like freaking super mutants going around and fighting all these zombies. But no, with Train to Busan, you actually have normal people who are actually like legitimately trying to survive and that's what I like about it it's realistic the concept is realistic and it's really good it's a it's a breath of fresh air in the zombie genre today another thing that I like about the concept of Train to Busan is that it's almost seamlessly able to combine action horror drama lightheartedness comedy and tragedy into one really really enjoyable experience so Train to Busan's got a great concept on to the next one characters now another thing about most zombies released today is that the characters suck so much. They are so bad. But with Train to Busan, you know, you got something different. You got the characters you like, you got the characters you're like, eh, I don't know how to feel about them yet. Then you got the characters that you just absolutely hate. But with a lot of zombie movies, you just like, you hate everybody because they all suck so bad. So let me just say that Train to Busan's characters rock. I don't really know how to pronounce any of their names, so I'm just gonna go with the uh, muscle guy. The guy that like is like he's he's the punchy guy. Honestly my favorite character. But you know, there are a lot of likable characters in this movie. Another thing that I really like about characters in Train to Busan is the character development. The main character, I'm just gonna call him uh I'm just gonna call him business guy. Business guy goes onto a train with his daughter and he's like hey, I gotta take you to your mom in Busan, so let's just get this over with. And then you have this other guy, this other guy that's in a different part of the train. I don't really know, I don't know his name either, so we'll just call him Evil Business Guy. Evil Business Guy is one of the people you see as people start getting infected and people are running between cars. Business Guy has his daughter and he's running into one of the cars. He goes in, 
and there's a pregnant woman and muscle there's pregnant woman and muscle guy. <laughs> I, I really don't know any of the names. I don't know. It's, I, they're like all South Korean and I don't know how to pronounce them. So I'm just going off like their like their personality. So muscle guy and his pregnant wife are running from the zombies. Business guy, he like closes the door on them. And the evil business guy, he's like, close the door, close the door, leave him out. But then he opens the door again. And that's, that's a representation of what business guy, the protagonist, is like at the beginning of the movie. But near the end of the movie, you see him become more, more, more selfless, more like protective, more helpful. The evil business guy represents what the business guy used to be and changed from to become a better, a better person. Legitimately, if you, if and when you watch this movie, evil business guy, he's going to be the most hated person that you see. Like, seriously, I hate him so much. I don't hate the actor, I just hate the character, oh my god. But that's the thing, that's the thing about, that's the thing about Train to Busan, they're able to like actually make you feel for these characters. Certain characters are able to make you feel like hate towards these other characters, it's really good. So Train to Busan's characters and character development are awesome. So, let's go to the next one. Cinematography. Now at the end of the day, cinematography is really what makes or breaks a film. If you have a movie with bad film quality and horrible angles and lighting and all of those certain factors, then a lot less people are going to watch it because of how ugly the movie looks. But if you actually put time and if you actually put time and work into these factors, though, like getting good angles and lighting and perfect, you know, just better film quality than you know, <laughs> just good film quality, then more people are going to be inclined to watch it because you know it doesn't look like you just just made it, you know? It looks like you actually put time and work into it. That's exactly what the makers of film, uh, Train to Busan did. They actually, <laughs> they actually put time into the filming. Now, I'm not gonna say that the film quality of this video, of this movie is perfect. There, yeah, there were a few moments, you know, they could have worked on them, but it's not, it wasn't like super like, oh, I don't wanna watch this movie anymore, like kind of moment. It was just, uh, they could have worked on that a bit. But other than that, Film quality, great. So, Trinity Busan cinematography, fantastic. Commitment. Now I'm just gonna come out right now and say that the acting in this movie was great. Now with a lot of zombie movies that are made, they just, <laughs> what happens is they just basically pull a bunch of Z-list, get it Z-list? <laughs> they, they pull a bunch of Z-list actors together and have them make this piece of sewage and put it out for a bunch of people to watch and be like, this movie sucks, you should watch it for how bad it is. But that's not what they did for Train to Busan. They actually got good actors, quality actors, people that could actually bring their characters to life. They got them, and they made an awesome movie. What sucks is, like, like with a lot of these zombie movies, they have good concepts. Actually, I'll take that back. Some of them have good concepts, but the characters are just, they're terrible. The acting is awful. But if they were actually able to get quality actors in there that could actually, you know, put personality into the character, then it could actually work. Hey guys, I found the protagonist for our next movie. It's a hanger I found in the garbage. Now that's, that, that sucks because that's basically the way they do it. They just pull random people out of like, they get people off of Craigslist or something. No, I'm, I'm not sure actually how they do it, but I'm just trying to put my point across that a lot of these zombie movies actors suck really bad but trying to busan trying to busan's characters are awesome i gotta give my props to all the cast the actors in trying to busan are really good they really put life into their characters and it's really their it's really their i don't want to say fault it's really they're really the reason that trying to busan is the way it is and that way is awesome so trying to busan's Commitment slash acting. The acting of the movie is great. And finally, critical response. Now, when Train to Busan first came out, it was critically acclaimed. The reason for this, I think, because I read it somewhere, it's the first zombie movie made in South Korea. And, you know, after watching it, I gotta say, it deserves the acclaim. Because it a, it's, a, it's a good movie. I gotta be honest with you, I'm kind of feeling biased towards the movie. So if you guys, if any of you have already watched the movie or you watch it and you're coming back to this and you're like, 
ah, that movie sucked, you should take your opinion back of, to where you came from. I'm just saying right now, this is kind of a biased review because I really liked the movie. But if you agree with me, then awesome. I, I, no, I'm not gonna do that. You're, don't touch me. It is it is a legitimately good movie. I, it's literally a good movie. I, 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 it's, I think Leafy here, I think Leafy here would agree, wouldn't you? No, you should kill yourself. Get out of here, Calvin. Everybody knows your opinion doesn't matter. <laughs> I liked Train to Busan. That's, that's it. That's my, that's my response to the movie. It was a good movie. And with the ending it has, I really hope that they come up with a sequel somehow. And, you know, I tried to go through this without spoiling it. If I somehow did, which I don't think I did, then I'm sorry. But right now, at the end of the video, I'm just going to say right now, if you haven't watched Train to Busan, then find a way to watch it. Because when I watched it, it took me like it took me like a day to find out how to watch it because it was like everywhere I found it, it was in South Korean and didn't have subtitles. But, you know, one fateful time, I finally found it and I was able to watch it and I was like, yes! So, I'm not going to say looking for it's going to be easy and I'm not going to say how I watched it because then I'll probably get in trouble. But look online you'll probably find somewhere to watch it go watch train to busan it's a good movie in my opinion a great movie so thank you guys so much for watching this movie review by yours truly darkthium <laughs> if you sat around this if you stayed around this long to watch me rant and rant about how awesome i think this movie is then you should probably drop a like maybe even subscribe I don't know why you would, but since you've waited this long, you might as well. Thank you guys so much for watching this movie review. I honestly don't know why I made this video. I made it on a whim. So if you guys want, leave a comment uh, on movies that you think I should talk about in the future if I do decide to keep doing this, because I don't know how well this video is going to do. I hope it does well because, you know, I really... <laughs> Like, I'm making this video so people can actually go watch the movie. Because I, it was such a good movie. So, go tell your friends. Go tell your family. Go tell your enemies. Go tell anybody. Go shout from the rooftops. Train to Busan is an, a quality movie. I've been going off the too long. If you guys think I missed anything, like, you know, like, any other factors of the movie that maybe I should have put in, then let me know. Because, you know, I'm always looking for improvement. So, thank you. Let me know. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. Check out Train to Busan. Check it out. It's a good movie. Do it as a favor to yourself. Check it out.